Welcome to Game Hacking 106. In this video, we'll take a look at how to activate our own custom god mode and a custom nightmare mode in Neo the Complete Edition without taking our eyes off the action in the game. Now, this is the sixth video in the Game Hacking 100 series, so if you're new to using Cheat Engine to make your own game cheats and hacks, be sure to watch the videos in green before this one because things will make a lot more sense that way. You can find the link to the full series to the top of this video and in the description below. But alright, let's get into it. Now, to set this up, I've already got pointers added for health and stamina into the Cheat Engine address list. And if you have no idea what pointers are, you should probably go back and watch Game Hacking 105. But alright, let's jump into the game I've chosen for this video, which is Neo. And the first thing we need to do as always is attach Cheat Engine to the game. And to show you these pointers are valid, I'll change health to something like 50, which also changes it in the game. Then I'll change stamina to something like 10, and you can see that work too. Alright, I'll pause the game with my Cheat Engine hotkey so we can focus on this mess in the address list, which I just have to clean up before we continue. So I'll drag the Cheat Engine window down to give us a bit more room to work with here. That looks good. Now, first thing, I haven't played through the whole game with these pointers, so I'm not absolutely sure yet if any of these will be valid from start to finish. So I don't want to get rid of these addresses in case all these pointers stop working and I need to compare out more pointers in the future using the same steps from Game Hacking 105, but I also don't want them just sitting here cluttering the address list either. So I'll create a header by right-clicking any blank space in the address list and selecting Create Header. I'll call it Pointer Map Addresses, then hit Enter, and I'll click No in this window here that pops up. And here's our new group header. Now, I can drag one of the addresses by left-clicking and holding it, then dragging it down. And as I drag, you can see this long black line, and you want it to be right in the middle of the group header, like so, and when I release the left mouse button, the address moves under the header. And to save time, you can move more than one address at once. So I'll click Health 2, then Shift-click Stamina 2 to select the remaining three here, then click and hold Stamina 2, which has the dark blue highlight, and drag them all down to our header as well. Then to clean this up some more, I'll right-click the header, Head to Group Config and select Hide Children when deactivated, which makes all the addresses in the group disappear. And now by clicking inside the square, I can reveal and hide these addresses whenever I want, which is pretty great. And I'll quickly do the same with Health and Stamina pointers. First with Health, and then with Stamina. And then I'll change both to hide the pointers unless activated, and there we go. And we actually could stop here, but since I'm a bit OCD, I'll go ahead and move the pointer map group to the bottom, and I'll change the color by right-clicking it, then selecting Change Color. And I think I'll make it a light gray, then click OK, which will make it even more out of sight and out of mind, unless I actually need it. And to go the extra mile, I'll change the color of the health header to red, and change the pointers to dark red. And then I'll change the stamina header to green, and the pointers to dark green. Alright, now this is looking pretty good. So now, let's make better use of these pointers with hotkeys. You can do this in many different ways, but I'm going to make it to where we can use a hotkey to give us unlimited health and stamina for a simple god mode, and I think I'll also make a down and dirty nightmare mode. And to do this, I'll right click on one of the health pointers, I'll just choose the top one, and then I'll head to set hotkeys, then come down and click create hotkey. And there are several actions here in this drop down box. The default is toggle freeze, which allows you to use the same hotkey to toggle the cheat activation on and off. And in the case of pointers, which is what we're dealing with right now, this will effectively allow you to freeze and unfreeze the value with one key. But in this example, I'll instead be using two others, freeze and set value 2, which I'll select first. I'll type in a high number, like 9999, and then I'll type in Alt-G on my keyboard in this white box here to assign the hotkey to Alt-G. Now, once I click Apply, I'll be able to mash Alt-G to instantly make my HP the value I typed in. And I'll go ahead and repeat the same steps using the same hotkey, but this time I'll choose Freeze in the dropdown, and I'll click this box below Activate Sound and select Activate, so I'll have an audio indicator when I activate this. And for the Nightmare Mode, I'll assign the same two actions to Alt-N, but I'll make the value really low instead. And with all four hotkeys assigned, I'll click OK at the bottom, then head over to Stamina and quickly do the same thing, repeating the exact same hotkeys. That way, Alt-G will give us unlimited health and stamina and make us a god, and Alt-N will crush our hopes and dreams at every opportunity. Okay, I'll change the health and stamina back to normal, and then head back to the game to test the hotkeys. So first, I'll hit Alt-G on my keyboard, and there we go. Looks like health and stamina shot right up. So let's head over to the guard and let him do his worst. And yep, looks like he can't do a damn thing to us. And now while blocking, I'll hit Alt-N for Nightmare Mode, and he broke my guard instantly, and we're dead. 
And alright, if you've watched every video in the series so far, congrats. You should have enough knowledge now to customize some games to your liking. But you should know that every game is different and with only what we've covered so far, you'll still be rather limited in the kind of game hacks you can make. So be sure to check out the Game Hacking 200 series where we go a bit deeper into this hacking stuff by learning how to read and manipulate game code and achieve even more impressive hacks. And to make sure you don't miss out on any of the videos, be sure to subscribe and turn on YouTube notifications. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.